Hello there, David here. Today I'm going to show you how you can create light leaks in After Effects using completely native effects. You don't have to have any plugins or anything and you can achieve that look, that kind of film burn colored leak that you often see used as a transition or just to stylize a shot. And it's really easy to do, so let's jump right in. Okay, so starting off in Premiere Pro as I usually do, I've imported some footage and this is just stuff that I just shot literally for this uh, tutorial. So you see it's just slider stuff uh, on a bit of a wonky slider. Now, what I'm gonna do is f send this over to After Effects because it's within After Effects that we're gonna be doing all of the heavy work. So as usual, before I send footage over to After Effects, I don't just right click and say replace with After Effects comp. I first of all make a copy, so Alt, uh, Alt click and drag it up. I'll make a, a duplicate of that. Okay, and now send the top one to After Effects. Now you'll see it creates a composition which is called the same thing as the project. So the project is called Light Leaks Tut Premiere Pro Project, and this is called Light Leaks Tut Linked Comp. So that's cool. Anything we do in here will be reflected in Premiere Pro as you may have seen in my dynamic link tutorials. If you haven't, then watch them, they're cool. All right, so here we have a composition with all of our footage. I think my computer is probably gonna struggle a little bit with this and the recording, but what we wanna do is essentially have these light leaks as compositions that we can dump in on top of this so that they act a bit like transitions, right? So what we're going to have to do is make a composition, so let's duplicate this one, okay, and we'll call it uh, just leaks, okay? Now in here we can get rid of the footage and create a new solid, doesn't matter what color it is or anything, let's call it orange leak, Ooh, aragne. orange leak. Actually, for the purpose of the thumbnail, let's just make it orange, even though the color is not going to be reflected. Okay, all of that is good. All right, now let's duplicate that, and we'll call this purple leak. Okay, now on this one, if you do shift command Y, you can bring back the properties of that solid. Let's just make that purple so we don't confuse ourselves. Okay, there we go. Right. All right. So now we go up to effects and presets and type in turbulence noise. Turbulent noise, sorry. Okay, let's just delete that one. Let's remove the visibility of that one for now. So here you have your turbulent noise. Now, turbi turbo turbulent, turbulent. So here you have your turbulent noise and if you're not familiar with turbulent noise, it's a fantastic effect for achieving all sorts of shit in After Effects. It's, I mean, it's really kind of the, the skeleton of a lot of effects. What we're gonna do is increase the contrast, we're gonna increase the brightness a little bit, and we're gonna drop the complexity down to one, okay? Then we're gonna drop down this transform and scale it up, like absolutely loads. Actually, complexity, let's make it two. Make it a bit better. Okay, contrast there, let's make it slightly less bright. And maybe a bit less contrast. Okay, and keep scaling, keep scaling, just keep scaling, just keep scaling. All right, that's cool, I like that. Now, what we need to do is evolve it, right? So you wanna be able to have this do that, essentially but we don't want to have to keyframe it all the time because that's a pain in the ass. So you click Alt, click on the stopwatch there, you'll see it goes red. You're triggering this to a expression. So the expression is going to be quite simple. You do time times um, whatever we want really as an evolution. You can make it really slow if you want it to be an effect that you're placing on your footage or if you want to use it as a transition, it'd probably look better if it's a bit faster. So let's start off with, say, 450, because we're going to use this as a transition. Okay, so now you can see that's going 
completely nuts and you can you can kind of get like how it's going to look really i think it's uh, it's going to be good it's going to be good all right then go to tint in your effects type in tint add a tint to this layer and map your white to what one's this orange map your white to orange like like so let's make it a bit brighter yeah, like that. All right. Now change blending mode to add, and just drop the opacity a touch, maybe, to like sixty-six percent. Okay, that's cool. Now just copy all of the presets of turbulent noise from this one onto this one, from orange layer to purple layer. Okay and then copy the tint and change that to purple because da -da, it's the purple layer okay and what we're gonna do is bring this back on now you see obviously they're super imposing and that's not what we really want so what you can do is just change the random seed um, let's make this one too there we go and now if we oh hang on we need to make that Add, otherwise we won't be able to see the one below. Now, you see, it's like a disco out of focus. Brilliant. It's exactly what we want. Let's drop the opacity of this one down to 33, because you don't want the colder colors to be as noticeable as the warmer colors for light leaks. It just, maybe it's a personal thing, but I tend to think that that works best. Okay. So now you're thinking, well, what do we do with this? Well, what we can do, this is what, 21 seconds long? Let's make it 5 seconds long. Okay, press N to end, and it'll make you like the, you're in an out point of the composition there. And if you come up to composition, you can say trim comp to work area, and there we go. This comp is now 5 seconds long. So what this means is, we've got our footage here, we can drag leaks into this composition, okay, change its blending mode to add, and then scroll along and you see all these pretty light leaks happening. Isn't that wonderful? Oh, doorbell. Um, yeah, isn't, isn't that just fantastic? It looks beautiful. And it's very quick. The evolution of it is very fast. If you wanted to change that, all you'd have to do is come in, select these two, hit UU twice, and it reveals all the changes in it. And here you can see the expression time times 450. You can change that to 100 if you wanted, and you'd see that it will slow down the evolution of that considerably. Now it looks a lot more just like a, a toning. It looks less like a light leak. It looks like it's kind of split toned actually. Um, so yeah, that's that's pretty much what you do. And then obviously because you're because you're editing your, your linked composition here, if I cycle back to Premiere Pro, there you go. Your light leaks are applied in Premiere Pro. So, does that mean that you're stuck editing transitions in After Effects? Well, no, it doesn't. See, because you have this as a composition, what you can also do is just drag it over to Premiere Pro as a composition. Okay, let's go back over here to After Effects and just remove it from that as an overlay. Okay, which you'll see changes it back there. Now, we can actually delete this linked composition because we don't care about that. We just want our original footage here, right? And just as it comes to here, this is where we're going to want to add our transition. Now, I don't know why it has an audio, I guess because the After Effects thing has an audio, but let's just unlink those by doing Command or Control L and delete the audio because we don't want it. Uh, we certainly don't want it to risk superimposing over other audio that we're using. And come down to the blend mode of the leaks comp and change it to linear dodge and you'll see there it's add. So it'll show, it'll, it'll work the same way as it does in After Effects. Bang, there you go. So now 
what we're going to do is just give that a bit of a dissolve. And what will happen is it'll fade into the uh, light leaks effect. Let's just bring it over here. Okay, it'll fade into the light leaks effect and transition into that shot. And that way, way there you go. There's a pretty transition. Nice. Okay, then let's come to the end of this one, and we'll just do the same thing. Okay, except that this one we're gonna actually drag this to the other side, so we have a slightly different transitioned animation. Uh, maybe over here, like so. Okay, so we come in. Yep, yeah, lights leaking. Cool. Beautiful. Love it. So that's super simple, and I mean these things go these these things go like packages online for absolute fortunes. But you don't really need them if if what you're looking for is a transition, a quick transition, or even just a longer stylization of your picture. You just don't need to spend that much money on it as long as you're happy to mess around a bit with settings on that turb turbulent tur bloody hell I'm struggling with that one. Uh, on the tur turbulent, tur blah, 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 turbulent noise. Okay, apologize. Have it now. As long as you're willing to mess around with settings in turbulent noise, then you can achieve some pretty awesome light leaks, and you can change the colors of them at will. Head back over to After Effects, and bang, colors are applied. It's that simple. All right. That's it. Thank you for watching and stick around because there's plenty more coming your way very soon. Cheers.